reach from a given given state that is uh, that is called as epsilon closer correct you are correct so can you tell me here what will be my uh, epsilon closer for suppose 1 close 1 closer of 1 sorry just uh, yeah so this is this completes the diagram b yeah so if i run closer of 1 will be what 1 okay similarly what uh, if i run closer of 2 will be hello okay so uh, so 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 this is called as epsilon closer that tells me that what are the set of states i can reach from a given state through empty transitions okay now let us come to another definition that is called extended transition function so so uh, i already have discussed in the last class for a dfa or for a nfa we have a extended transition function that works over a set of input symbols transition function always operates on a single input symbol whereas extended transition function operates over a set of a entire string of input symbols okay so so how the extended transition function for a uh, for an M empty nfa if silent nfa will look like can someone tell me so suppose suppose i have a string okay u as suppose i have a string u okay and my uh, is a string of alphabets okay and i have a starting state suppose q0 so so how the uh, so the extended transition function is represented as delta star okay so q0 with u what what it will look like <clears throat> any guess so let us see what what it will look like okay only through derivation we can find it out so let u is equal to w into a where w is my prefix string okay and a is the last input symbol of the string okay is it visible uh, the what i am writing okay so so how the uh, automata will move the automata will first try to <coughs> consume the input string w so it is in q0 state okay it is try to consume the input state Uh, input string w and it it will reach at a set of states suppose r r1 or r2 r3 because because the transition function will give me an output that is a set of states okay so it will be r1 r2 r3 so this is by consuming w from there what can, what will happen it will try to figure out that okay my current state is suppose r1 and i have to consume the input symbol a okay understood and suppose i will reach at p1 okay then from p1 what will happen it will try to see 
is there any empty transition from P1? Okay, understood. So the algorithm is like this. I am currently in Q0. I will try to apply the extended transition function for the prefix string W. Okay. I will reach at a set of states that is R1, R2, R3 like this. Now from each of these states R1, I will apply the transition function. Okay. I will apply the transition function and I will reach at suppose P1, P2, P3. And from there, I will try to see is there any empty transitions from P1, P2, P3 and if that, so those are the things, so that will be my final states, okay. <coughs> so how it will mathematically be represented? So mathematically it will be represented as first delta star suppose Q0 and I will represent U as WA suppose, so that will be will move from the last thing. So what does this, this move means? So this move tells me either I can stay in P1 or I can go to Q1. So this means this is my epsilon closure of P1. Understood? Either after reaching the state P1, either I can stay in P1 or I can move, I can do an empty transition to reach at Q1. So this means the final result will be epsilon closure of P1, okay. So let me write first epsilon closure. So what is the epsilon closure? So what is P1? So P1 is the set of transition functions, okay. It is the transition functions over R1, R2, R3. So I can tell it like this, union of delta of R i comma a. Understood? R1, R2, R3 are the set of states I reached by applying extended transition function over W. Then for each of these R1, R2, R3, I apply the transition function, normal transition function with input symbol a. Okay? So that is why I put a union. Okay? And what this R i is? Now R i belongs to extended transition function of Q0 W. Understood? So this is the mathematical form of a extended transition function for NFA with empty transition. Any doubt? Okay. Okay. So so let us uh, draw the previous diagram again, okay. Just I want to, to ask certain questions. So can you tell me what is an extended transition function for this thing? Tell me, suppose I am in currently I am in state 1 and I am processing the input symbol A, then what will be my extended transition function for 1 comma A? Hmm? 1, 2, 1, 4, 5, 5. No, first look at the empty transition. Okay. So first, before consuming A, where I can be? 